YouTube family. I am back, but today I am back with a cooking video. Yes, I'm going to cook homemade, homemade, homemade Salisbury steak or hamburger steak, whichever way you would like to call it. So first of all, I'm going to show you what I have. Before that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that all notification button. If you want to see cooking, the things that I get from the food pantry, my grocery hauls, and just some of the things that I like to do in life. So now, don't forget, if you're watching this, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and come on over here and join my family. Now, here we go with this hamburger steak cooking vlog. All right, so first, I used about a pound and a half of ground beef. You know we like that Lowry, so that's what I'm going to put in here for my seasoning. They say, season until your ancestors tell you to stop. I, sometimes, but not all the time. And then it depends on what um, seasoning you need. I have onion powder here. I love that onion powder. And then I use accent. It wakes up the flavor in your food. It actually does that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work it in. Work it in, work it in. Work it in. Now, I'm also going to put some onions in this bad boy too. I just need to work these seasoning in real quick. All right. I'm going to put a tad bit of salt. That'll wake it up a little bit. All right, so I got these onions I'm going to put there. Yeah, I cut them the way I want to cut them because guess what? This is my cooking vlog, not yours. I know we're going to have a lot of people on there telling me how I should have, could have, would have done it, but this is the way I'm doing it today because that's the way I like it. So how you guys been doing? Here, we have had snow and sleet since saturday and today is wednesday so guess what we've been stuck in the house and guess what i'm doing cooking vlogs yes that's what i'm doing so are you snowed in are your temperatures five below yes we in that five below arctic air you guys all right let me get up here in the seat washing my hands all right now what i also put in my thing is a little flour this helped with the binding now like i said this is just something simple you may not do it at your house but i do it at mine i'm just adding a little bit more onion powder Oh, don't let me forget that black pepper. All right, now let me work this in. And all I'm gonna do is like make hamburger patties and put it in a skillet and let it fry. And then I'm gonna get that. Gravy. Now it ain't gonna be homemade now, I'ma tell you that. Cause today ain't no homemade type of day for the gravy. So I'm gonna make it in the bowl. You get it depends on your family size or your portion. You just put it, make it a ball. See, that's my ball with the onion showing. And I'm gonna put it in the skillet and let it fry. I'll let you see that once I get them all in there. So I don't have any children at my house that I have to 
go back and forth with and tell, sit down, I need to get you this. So what about you? How many children do you have if you are packed up in the, or held up in the snow storm or if you're in the winter weather advisory? I have a grandson, but fortunately he's with his mom. So that's a whole nother different thing there. All right. See, I made five patties out of this. Get those onions. And I'm going to let you see what it looked like in that skillet. Give me a second. I'll be right on back. Wash some hands so I can take that camera over there. Now I'm going to let you see it in the skillet cooking. Uh oh, what am I? Right there. There it goes. They're cooking. A little slow, but they're going to come out just right. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to take my uh hamburger patty out and drain the grease off I'm just gonna set it over here on this paper towel here now if you if you didn't cook it like you did like you like i'm doing that's okay because guess what there's somebody out there that don't know how to cook don't even know how to start to do the fancy. So I'm starting with the simple. I like those onions, so I'm gonna take them out of their grease. Like I said, I'm starting off with what I have. And if you want me to be better, I got that in that description box below. I got my address. You can send me some cookware. And guess what? I'll be happy to use it all right so let's go here and pour this grease out that's because i did, i didn't use lean uh enough ground beef but it's okay i used what i had all right now like i said i'm not making homemade gravy i'm using the uh, Great Value Brown Gravy. So it says empty seasoning it mix into a sm small, small bowl, <laughs> a small saucepan with a cup of water. So I got a bowl here, not a saucepan. And I'm going to get me, you got a bowl I have, so I'm putting that in here. And I'm gonna get me a cup of cold water and I'm gonna stir it. This my measuring thing. I just, it says that's a half a cup. I'm gonna use one more. Now, I have done this before and with this gravy, it depends on if you want it real thick or thin. It'll thicken itself up. See? I'm sorry. See it? It'll thicken itself up. So I'm going to get these hamburger patties. Yes, my hand is clean. <laughs> Put them back in that skillet. They are a little hot too. Put that back in that skillet. Thank you. 
And those extra onions I had, I'm going to put that back in there too. Alright, get them hands washed if I touch that trash can. Alright. So for me, because of the consistency, I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. Because of the consistency of it, I will put a little more water in here. For me, I'll do that. And here I go, pouring it. Over into the gravy. And I'll be back once it get thick and let you see the end results. Flip that juice. All right, you guys, here's that finished product. You see that gravy on that Salisbury steak? Let me show you. So what I did after I put that in, I'm adding a little bit more water to it so that, and I turned the eye up a little bit high and it made its own thickness. So this is the result of the simple Salisbury steak if you don't know the perfect way to make it. But my way is just as good as yours. Because guess what? It's my way and then it's your way. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that all notification button to look at more cooking videos. Bye.